I'm all wrapped up today and um, it's pouring down. It's a really grey, wet, foggy autumn day, but I've got something really colourful to be involved with. I'm going to head on over to Hans Flower School, which is actually just around the corner, but I've never been. I've known Hans for a few years now. It was only just recently that we were sort of having a chat about um, how to tell stories on vlogs and how it's important as a creative business to get those skills or understand how to tell those stories so your customers know what you get up to in a really interesting way. So I said I'd pop round and give him a hand and show him how I do it and I get to see all the ladies make these beautiful sculptural pieces of art. <laughs> Almost sounds like Strictly Come Dancing. Now. It did. Do, <laughs> yeah. This is the flower Tonight version. Test. Yes. <laughs> Are you playing test today? <laughs> well, oh, Claudia or Tess, that's the best one. No, I think probably Claudia. Claudia, isn't it? I don't think I can pass yeah. test though. So. I think I've got the same <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what I try and do with the classes is especially with the flower workshops, is a variety of design, like a variety of design and techniques. So I really try and get a lot of broad spectrum of different ideas. So today we're doing something quite contemporary, very horizontal, with some nice movement, nice texture, nice colours. So yeah, that's a little bit of today's concentration point, so to speak, with the design for I still get people who have never done it before, or, you know, other than, you know, the bunch from the supermarket or the garage or the court and just unwrapping and just dropping it and that's it and that's it and I, I do get those people and I love having those people because they're the people who surprise themselves because they don't think they can do anything and I usually spot them at the end they're a bit terrified in the beginning but at the end I can see them looking at what they've made and you can see the pride in their face going I've made that so, that transformation when people come in Work and they're terrified, but they leave yeah. proud of their productivity, their skill, yeah. what they've achieved, what they're carrying out of the class. Yeah. That transformation is wonderful. Oh, yeah. That's the reason why I love, I love doing class. Yeah. It's to help somebody realise that they can do something. And it's, you know, everybody has an, an inbuilt sense of design. And how much they've right. discovered it is probably the question. I, I love the fact that sometimes, but quite often, the ladies will, those ladies will feel that they've achieved something and they leave here and they say thank you and I say, don't mean to say me, I haven't made it, you've made it. But I suppose I've facilitated and I've just given them a little bit of guidance. In Does terms that refuel you as a oh, creative yeah. Oh yeah, totally. I think that's one of the nicest things, you know, if you're just doing it for yourself. Yeah. You don't get any enjoyment out of it. It's a share of it, you know, like five. Same thing with weddings, you know, if I do a big wedding, you want the bride and bridegroom to be happy with the flowers. Yeah. That is what gives you the buzz. Yeah. And in this case, I want the ladies. And you'll see they will all make slight variations. But I want them to achieve what they hope to achieve. Yeah. And as long as they're happy. That's how cool is that? It's like a it's like a virtuous circle, isn't it? Who shares knowledge and few tips and techniques and people listen to that then put it immediately into practice yeah. so it's actionable yeah. and then they surprise themselves yeah. and they end up further developing their skill and it's just this constant circle of growing together isn't it? Yeah. No, definitely. It's a bit creative business, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> You've got this lovely movement coming down with the grasses, the oats are fabulous. Yeah, the, it blends nicely into the flowers here at the top. You've gone 
the opposite way with your curves, so they become decorative. Yes, now this is wild again. No, we got <laughs> <laughs> It's the wild streak in there. This is it. <laughs> you heard it, I didn't say that. I got that on camera. <laughs> It's a public confession. <laughs>